brain tumor is basically that a space occupying lesion which is present in the brain it is just like that that there can be tumor all over the body which we know but when specifically they are present in the brain we call it on the brain tumor as regarding the brain tumor regarding the spread if we consider the benign tumor the chances of spread are very minimum these uh, benign brain tumors they are generally within the brain itself but in cases of cancerous tumor they can spread to other part of the body from the brain very simply put anyone who starts experiencing recent onset of headaches especially which occur in the morning with or without vomiting or any dimness of vision blurring of vision especially if there are any particular side of the vision say left or right side or it starts experiencing new onset of weakness or incoordination or imbalance of either the hand or the leg or both uh, describes uh, tingling or numbness which persists more than 24 hours of any one particular side or hearing loss or Uh, changes in the facial uh, uh, features uh, hands and feet uh, experiences excessive tiredness fatigability uh, these may be symptoms of a brain tumor there are different kinds of brain tumors but basically we divide them into primary and secondary which simply means that primary tumors arise within the substance of the brain and they can be of mainly two varieties one is the benign variety that means these are slowly growing happen over a long period of time and surgery for these are usually curative and rewarding and the other variety is the malignant variety which is essentially cancer uh, these uh, are unfortunately uh, very difficult to treat and usually tend to come back even with successful surgical treatment Diagnosis is usually initially by a plain CT scan which can roughly tell us that if there is something to be concerned about but the main uh, diagnostic tool is a contrast MRI scan that could tell us uh, in the vast majority of cases the type the character the location of the brain tumor and based on that further ancillary tests may be done like a hormone profile visuals visual assessment etc can be done based on the mri findings treatment of brain tumors is essentially surgical if we can excise it through microsurgical surgery or microsurgical neurosurgery and we use various gadgets like neuro navigation microscope pusa and sometimes very rarely of course lasers there are various equipment that we use for excising brain tumors which can be operated upon and taken out certain brain tumors which are deep seated in the brain and a very sensitive or eloquent part of the brain we use stereotactic frame or frameless biopsy to confirm the diagnosis and give treatment Now the treatment after surgery, if it is excised completely, then we follow up if it is a benign tumor after histology or pathology report. If it is malignant, we usually advise radiation and chemotherapy. We have the cancer department in medical coming and shortly starting that we use newest of machines to give radiation and of course very well known chemotherapy to these brain tumors. We have all the facilities for surgery. and associated services sometimes people need a lot of uh, psychological rehab physical rehab to get them back to shape so all the departments necessary departments including pathology everything is available in medica super specialty hospital the department of neurological surgery medica institute of neurological diseases has for the brain tumor treatment got all the ancillary departments like neuro radiology neuropathology where we do a regular immunohistochemistry after histopathology of this brain tumors to further classify the tumors and give very specific treatment and good follow up and uh, along with that uh, we uh, three consultants in the department we get together to do uh, we have a tumor board that oncologists and pathologists and radiologists are there to discuss the best treatment for each brain tumor